Hello, this is Vivek. Welcome to another video in Codeigniter Forms video series. Here in this video, I am going to work on select drop down list that is ages. In previous video, we have seen input fields and radio buttons. And here in this video, you are going to learn about working with select drop down list in Codeigniter. Let's just start working on this future in this video. And same like previous videos, I have used set value and set radio. Same like the previous functions, set value and set radio. I'm going to use another function for a select drop down list that is a set select. And it's the same like set radio. I had to pass the input field name and the value. Here the value is a static value for radio buttons and for select drop down list. It's not a static value. It's a dynamic variable. I'm going to open a PHP block here. Echo set select and if you want to learn more about this set select function set radio or set value just check out the coordinator documentation or if you want to learn more about coordinator basics check out my coordinator basics course i'll provide the link in description set select and the first one is input fields name that is age here it's defined as age i'm going to add this in the first attribute and after that the dynamic value is age here i am passing this to value attribute and also inside this option tags i'm adding this age here okay let's just submit the form this should work that's enough simple php block simple php block echo set select input field name and the value that's a dynamic variable from our for each loop ages as age and i am passing this ages from our form controller here you can see i am passing this ages as a array with a data array okay let's just reload this page once again and submit the form with the ages this value is selected and if i select another value submit it's being selected i'll try to select one more option it's working and if i select nothing i should say error message age field is required it's working correctly and let's submit the form once again and i am going to move this true option and i am going to remove this true option for this radio buttons user should select this option while submitting the form i'm not selecting any option by default i'll submit a first name last name and email address gender age submit we should see success message form submission successful and next task is to in next video i am going to add a csrf tokens to our form to protect our coordinator forms from cross site request forgery hack i am going to add a csrf tokens in next video thank you for watching my video do subscribe to my channel if you have any questions Please post it in comment section.